All right, now for the, the bonus areas. Here's the extra part of the project where you watch for extra content for the YouTube content creator that is me, supposedly. I create content, guys, as opposed to videos on a video hosting site for videos. You know what content creating is? That's when you make your own website. <laughs> That's, like, really now. What else could else be? Text? Music? What other forms of things did you want to show off here? Like, you know, pictures? Only so many things to do. Alright, so we have to actually walk into here. It takes 50 star coins to actually get there. So, when you're a little over halfway through the game, you can get inside. The good thing about this, again, is that there's no star coins in the extra levels themselves. It wouldn't make sense because it would only count for the Toad House. That's probably why. You can also access all the bosses except the last one. You could just access it from, you know, wherever. If you just keep the checkpoint right before him, that could probably work out for you. Although, I don't know if it stays saved after you, like, end the game because the level does get cleared. So... Yeah, keep that in mind. A lot of these levels have reused assets from previous stuff, or maybe stuff that was, like, scrapped, from what I can tell. And that's one of the reasons why I hadn't done this. That's one of the reasons why I hadn't covered Classic Mario World 3 again lately. Not just because of all the updates, but because many of the updates had to do with this extra content, and which parts of it were used, which parts of it weren't. There's like a total of 26 levels in here, by the way. So we've div I've divided five for each video, except for the last one. It's going to have like a bonus six one. A bonus bonus, if you might say. I thought it was going to be... I'll just tell you right now. I, it's not even going to be that hard. <laughs> like, I guess it could be. But we don't have to worry about that too much. And who the hell is texting me? Oh, I see what's going on. Alright, yeah. Well, I don't think the weather's gonna interfere. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> it's like, warning! It's like, I, yeah, I get it. And besides, if there's a power outage... I've got a little backup supply that'll last me a few hours if I have to keep this thing on. So, we can... I can still finish this project and safely, you know, yeah. Although I should try to have some protocol to have it, like, shut down if there was ever a power outage while that wasn't even near the computer, you know? Come to think of it, I should have some precaution for that. Maybe. Maybe someday. Alright, we got urchins in the air, we got torpedo tes in the air. That's pretty much all we got here. Yep. So again, the good thing about this is the star coins not having to be a thing. The bad thing is that, well, if you don't get to the checkpoint or you beat one of these so-called extra levels, you're gonna have to return to the beginning of the Toad House. Although, if you if you die in here without getting the checkpoint, there's still the checkpoint that goes right to the extra levels, but still, you still gotta walk a ways. So we know! That Super Mario has got... Oh, it's done. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, my wife just called me to tell me there was a slight power outage. Not a power outage, per se, but it's like... It's like turned off and back on. And, yeah. I can cause havoc on things. What, you mean at the house? No, no. Where she works. I have to be in touch, you know? I can't just be sitting here all day. And night. And wherever. Whenever. Beetles return. Finally. <laughs> Finally, Ringo. We have returned from the grave. Eat my shit ball. You're going down. I am the second... I am John, the second coming. <laughs> Here we go. 
I'm gonna send Mario to my yellow submarine. Anyway, this is the uh, Parabeetle level again. Well, not really again. There's Parabeetles in it, but this level's very different. And we got blue Parabeetles that go up and down. That's probably the only really new part of this. Yeah. Do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, again, we're using the moon music. Except for the one place in the game where we know that there is a moon. Great job. That's okay, I like the music. Super is the Mario that wears the plumber pants. With his overalls that he put underneath his wardrobe. This is actually my least favorite level in this set. It's simply because of how I have to steer this thing under all the obstacles and crap. Not to mention of something I did not foresee. I didn't know my thing would <laughs> to spawn if I let it go too low. I guess that one's on me, but it doesn't really feel like it, because I've never been in a situation where I've had to ride a parabeetle that low. So I really had no, uh... I had no information that would lead me to believe something like that would happen. I mean, it makes sense now, but I thought maybe, you know, I could, uh... You know, ride it back up if it was a little too far down, you know? Maybe a bit off-screen, maybe a bit not. It was the best things we thought of. In these purple skies, purple places, that we leave for purple faces. I just want to tell you, that is all we got. Way too much crap to worry about because I'm Super Mario. Yes, that is right, my friends, and I'm going to tell you all about how about West Philadelphia, born and raised. No, no, I'm neither born nor raised, nor oddly enough have I been. Feels like I could have been in Philadelphia. I haven't. <laughs> I mean, I've had the Philadelphia cheesesteak, but that's not really being in Philadelphia now, is it? It's like having New York pizza and say you've been in New York. Oh, no. Not to mention, if you want the New York pizza, you go straight to New York for their pizza. You don't find a pizza labeled New York pizza. That's not what you do. Trust me. Trust me on this. I know what a good pizza tastes like. Believe. Believe in the power of pizza. Well, we've done it yet again. We've died in an extra level. The video is just would have been too short if I didn't die once or twice. I'm kind of sick of this, though. Mario's gonna get sick. He's gonna throw up all over your couch. What do you think about that, viewers? That's gross. Yes, it is. Is it really? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's like, what's... <laughs> it's behind you. It's like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's like, no. Screw you guys. This is not pantomime, it's a proper play. I swear to me, Jacobs. Isn't that right? I'm supposed to be returning sometime soon. You know, be the Beatles return in Donkey Kong Country Returns Beatle Worship Edition. <laughs> if you die any more times, I'm gonna summon Beatles all over your ass. Here they come, once again. <laughs> With feeling. Why'd I even use this take? I could've just started that one over, right? I don't know, it was short enough, I felt like I could get away with it. So, that is what he did. He was careless. And it, <laughs> it's a little bit... <laughs> He's fearless! Careless. A little bit hairless. Wonder Dog! He is a go-go dog person. Yes. Hey man, I'd wake up every morning and watch Dino Mutt. Not even joking. Uh, I ended up liking it a little too much, honestly, but hey, you know, it's fine. The funny thing is, was the actual hero's name being Blue Falcon, which means they get call him BF, so it's like best friend or something. I suppose that was an intentional joke. 
I don't know. It's like, why did I enjoy that? Because it's the closest thing I had to... I don't know. That's a good memory, though. Memories. If only maybe could have known this, this, this poor future could have been averted. But the war refused to change. Future. Future never changes. Future. The future does not exist. <sighs> Toad's bonus house. Finally, past level two. <laughs> What's up next? Well, I think about the latest news. Extras levels. It should be extra levels, but, you know, it's a bit too late to be ripping on a Portuguese English, Portuguese, like, Portuguese Brazilian English, you know. Okay, remember that one level with the barrels? It's Chain Chomps now. Yeah, that means it's automatically going to be annoying. Great! Well, good thing the level's simple enough, but still, I gotta dodge all these Chain Chomps, brother. And I think they're positioned where the barrels would have spawned, too, so that kind of makes it a bit awkward when some of them have to be in the air. Like that? Like that one's attached to a cactus? What the fuck, man? Like the rare... The rare species of cactus chomp. I didn't even realize there was lava in this whole thing. I guess if it was... Yeah, I guess it was probably oil, though. Hot boiling oil. Grease fryer. Again, don't... <laughs> Let's get the stupid parts out of the way. No. I do not like it. But you love desert levels. Look, man, the chain chomps of Mario 3 work better in Mario 3 for a reason. I, I will iterate that every time I encounter a level of these. Well, when they're not used in a remarkable way. I, I guess it makes more sense to rip on them more here, because they... I can see why this level is taken out. Some levels, though, is just, like, a bit redundancy, so maybe he didn't want Torpedo Ted's in the air. I would rather you just go ask the author for the actual reasons. I couldn't actually tell you. I, could, I can speculate without actually talking to him. It may be better if I actually talk to the dude. He's around. He's on YouTube. I don't know what he's been doing since the three Princess Rescue mods, though. He could be working on something else, besides, you know, polishing the last three. I Actually, no. Did he make some other one? Was it, like, one based on, like, Bowsette or something? Maybe. Unless I'm, unless I'm thinking of some other guy. It's completely possible that he's done that, though. Although, I can't wait for the next mods to not be about Bazette, Bowsette, but instead something like Elephant Days. It's like, okay! You put this on yourself! And that's what we did. We gave it our all. It's the thrill of one more ball. The last one to give me cooties. Alright. Let's go to extras. Extra things we do for people. Extras for us. It's a hard knock life for us people. Extra hard docs for me. Animal crackers in my soup, asshole. Shuck and Dolphin. From the creators of... From the creators of Cuta Jelly. It's Shuck and Dolphin. <laughs> Ask a provider near you. Alright, so we got Dolphins and we got Gelectros. There. Work with it. That, that's it. Yeah. Well, this, this could be slightly annoying too, huh? Again, it, it's good to see the ideas that were not used and then still have access to them. It's like, all right. It's like, but it's your own fault if you play this. I'm like, yeah. I know, but you put it in the game after I got all the coins. I feel like I need to do it now. You know, there's other games I play that might have, like, inaccessible levels that you have to put in a code into access. I don't know how I'd feel about doing that. One such an example is in Duke Nukem 3D 
with the, um, with what was originally, like, a multiplayer level, but was, like, technically single-player available, they made it more viable in the, uh, Anniversary Edition, which I, I don't have. I, I have Atomic and Megaton, that's all I really need. Although I don't really need Megaton either, because I have Rays, which is like GZ Doom for build engine games. Really, really good. I, I'm wondering if Rays is now better for me than using like, uh... What was it, E-Duke 32? Yeah. Alright, let's do one more level. Okay, what if I don't want to watch? I want to watch ice cream soup. No ice cream soup for you. None whatsoever. But I want ice cream soup. No. Oh my god, I just realized who I was imitating. Let's forget that ever happened. I'm gonna scrub that from memory, because I didn't know I would remember that. I got a problem, man. Yeah, apparently the problem is knowing about Matt TV. Uh, it's, it's a, uh... It's a, it's a 100 Mario Second Challenge. Can you do this level in one minute? Yeah. So... Obviously this would have been in, uh... Wait, where would this have been? Because this isn't the Ruins world. Where is this coming from? I'm starting to wonder if some of these extra levels may have come from the previous two classic worlds. That could be entirely impossible, considering I had no access to such things then. And, like, unlike the previous two, the World 9 is kind of imperative for the actual standard ending. Even though you can access it. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is a good. This is a good one to end on. Speed up. Speed up. Level up. Wow. Wow. Eight hundred fifty points. I'm not proud of that. No one should be proud of that. Okay. We'll see you back in the extra cut content show. I wonder if there's a YouTube channel for the cutting room floor wiki. That'd be interesting, right? Just make an S-I in every single article, yeah.